Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Super Slime Simulator. This is a game that lets you make and play with slimes on your phone. And afterwards, you can even record the clips and upload them onto Instagram, just like real slime. I've seen this come up a lot on Instagram lately, and I thought I might as well make a video on it. And for the record, this is not sponsored. The company doesn't know I'm actually making this video. And this is more of a review because I'll be giving you my opinions on this game, both good and bad. And of course, if you didn't know yet, I have new merchandise out, which is an embroidered version of my fat koala squishy. You can get these onto caps, t-shirts or sweatshirts. And the link for that is right down below. I love the fact that these are actually super high quality because the material is made from denim and the back part has a hidden clasp. So it's not one of those plastic things that you just snap back and forth. And I think this will look super cute for any back to school outfit. Mm -hmm. I also asked them to make polo shirts because I wear these a lot myself. And I love the fact that they look quite preppy and very subtle. So depending on what color you choose, you can easily wear these to school, work, or university, and it's not sort of all in your face. So now without further ado, let's check out our super slime simulator. To make this video more interesting, I'm actually going to try remaking the slimes that I made in this game, but for real obviously, and we'll try comparing the two to see which one is more satisfying. When you first start up the game, you have a choice between making your own slime or playing with one of the pre-made designs, which you can see here. I'm going to make my own, which takes you to this screen. You can pick between a big range of textures, which is great, but they have some slightly strange names. For instance, the first one is basically clear slime, but for some reason it's called sticky slime, which isn't exactly the best description for a slime to have. I'm going to choose spectrum slime, which I think is the same as a multi-chrome putty. First, you have to stir your ingredients, and the ASMR sound effects here are surprisingly satisfying. Now pick your color, and I'm going to go with red. Mix everything together again, and this gives you your finished slime. Lastly, you can also add decorations like sprinkles, orbies, or fishbowl beads, which I think is a great touch. I decided to choose glitter, however I was a bit disappointed by the visual design of these, because they basically look like translucent grey dots. Though on the whole, I like how straightforward the process was, and you can even save your slime and give it a name if you want to. And now we can start playing with it, which is surprisingly realistic. You can even save an animated clip of this and upload it onto Instagram. By the way, my Instagram name is Macaroon, so please go follow me there if you haven't done so yet. And now it's time to make the slime for real. To do this, you'll need some clear PVA glue and slime activator, which in my case is contact lens solution and baking soda. Then you'll need some multi-chrome pigment, and I got this one from solarcolordust.com. And lastly, you'll need a chunky glitter. I'm going to skim over the slime recipes fairly quickly, since I'm sure most of you know how to make these by now. To make clear slime, just mix PVA glue with baking soda and contact lens solution until it forms a ball. Place this inside an airtight container for a few days until the bubbles have disappeared and the slime is transparent. Now we can start mixing the pigment. This one is actually a brown, red and purple multichrome, whereas the one from the game is a green, red and purple multichrome. This makes everything slightly less reflective than the slime from the app. Now 
Next, I've got this large hexagon shaped glitter, which I got from Claire's accessories. This has a nice iridescent shine, which actually compensates for the lack of green shades inside the multichrome pigment. Once mixed together, this slime actually looks surprisingly similar to the one from the game. I think the app is very useful for giving you inspiration on what types of real slimes to make. You can try out different colors and textures without having to use up any ingredients. Next up, I'm going to make a watery slime, which I presume is the same thing as a jiggly slime. To my surprise, the mixing noise sounds different as well. It actually feels a lot more liquidy when you stir it. I'm going to take the color yellow, and I think it's a shame that the graphics in the game makes this look more like a metallic golden putty rather than a clear jiggly slime. This time, I'm going to use the googly eyes for decoration, and the design for this looks a lot better than the glitter. The final result has some great ASMR when you poke it, and it actually sloshes around just like real water slime. So to remake this slime in real life, you'll need some clear PVA glue or peel off face masks, your choice of slime activator, yellow food coloring, and plastic googly eyes. The slime making process is exactly the same as the previous one, so I'm just going to skip to the finished clear slime. The only difference here is that I added a lot more water to make the texture more jiggly. If you want to know more about water slime, then please check out this video here. Now I'm simply adding some food coloring and mixing it through. Then it's time to add the eyes and start playing with it. This slime has a great creepy feel to it and I think it's more satisfying than the digital version. The main problem with the game is the shading of the graphics, which makes clear slime look metallic, so you lose a lot of the aesthetics when you're playing with it. Last but not least, I want to try making a fluffy slime. Once again, I was really impressed that this had a distinctly different sound effect to the other ones. However, I'm not a huge fan of all the slime bases having a dark bluish undertone since this looks a bit weird when you add the color later on. For instance, I'm choosing pink this time and you have a moment where the dark blue suddenly turns pink, which doesn't look very satisfying. This time I'm going to choose foam balls as decoration. Another tiny thing I notice is that when it says sprinkle your decorations, the game doesn't actually respond to where you place your fingers. That would have been a nice touch, since you'd really feel like you're adding decoration to a certain part of the slime. And now our pink flome is ready. The ASMR for this sounds a lot crunchier than the other slimes, which I think is pretty cool. The pokey animations are also better, and the slime seems to respond faster to your fingertips. By the way, it's worth mentioning that this game is free to download and play, however it is supported by adverts. Every 3 minutes or so, you'll suddenly get a full screen advert like this, which you can't skip. 
This can be a bit annoying since you get no warning when it happens. However, that's the price for free games since the developers need to make money as well. And now let's move on to our real version of this flome. To make it, you'll need white PVA glue, shaving foam or shower foam, slime activator, pink food coloring, and foam balls. These foam balls were actually given to me by a fan from a meet and greet a while ago. I'm afraid I don't remember her name anymore, but if you're watching this, then thank you so much. First, pour the white glue into a bowl. Next, I want to show you something pretty amazing. A few years ago, there was this Japanese facial foam that went viral because it looked like a flower. The product was super difficult to get in Europe or the US, and it was part of an anti-aging range, so it wasn't supposed to be used by women under 40 anyway. So I was delighted to find out that Rituals just brought out a shower foam in exactly the same design, and this can obviously be used by everyone. Just look how adorable this is! Obviously, it's far too much of a shame to use the shower foam just for slime, but I really wanted to try it out for this video. Once you've mixed the glue and foam together, add some food coloring and your slime activator. Remember that shaving cream or soap foam already has an alkaline pH, so you need to add less baking soda than for clear slime. If in doubt, always add your ingredients in small amounts and stir well in between to prevent overactivating the mixture. This is starting to look just like frosting. Lastly, I'm going to add the foam balls and mix everything through. This flown was pleasantly crunchy, however it's always a bit tricky to get the consistency perfectly right so the balls don't fall out. I think in this case, the digital flown is actually easier and cleaner to play with than the real one. So now it's time for a final verdict on this game. I have to say I love the concept behind it because the idea of being able to get creative and make slimes with different colors and textures without actually having to get out all your materials is really original and it's fun. However, this is clearly a low budget game because you can tell that the graphics and a lot of the design elements like the glitter, the sprinkles, like the stuff you add onto slime just aren't that good. The graphics remind me a lot of those CD-ROM games from the 90s that I used to play as a kid, but that was years ago. So I think there's a lot that could be improved on in here. What really impressed me though was the ASMR in this game. Every type of slime actually has its own sound effect. So if you have a watery slime, then the noises actually sound more liquidy and if you've got a fluffy flown ball slime, then it actually sounds really crunchy. I thought it was a pretty amazing attention to detail and it actually made it a lot more fun to try out different types of slime. So on the whole, this is a very creative and surprisingly satisfying game. However, it's let down a bit by the graphics and the fact that there just isn't that much to do. I think it's a type of game where you download it and you play with it for a day and it's super fun, but then once you've done everything, that's it, like you just won't open the game up again. But let me know what you guys think. If you've played this game, what do you think of it? What's your favorite slime? What could be improved? What would you want to see in it? And let me know in the comments below. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!